Kyle here, and today I'll be reviewing Red Shirts by John Scalise. Uh, this is one of the funniest books I've read in a long time. Very interesting concept that I really enjoyed a lot. So the basic premise, um, which you'll probably get if you're familiar with the term Red Shirts. If you're not, um, it's a Star Trek reference. If you've ever watched, especially the original series on Star Trek, anytime they did any away missions, you always had the main characters like Spock and Kirk and... Um, Bones and Scotty and people like that do the away missions and you know major situations on the ship and there were always a few random crew members with them and they, they always had red shirts on and always on these dangerous missions the red shirts always died and the main characters always made it through so the joke was you know you didn't want to be a red shirt on a mission because you were basically guaranteed to die um, well the author here takes that concept and kind of turns it into a very humorous sci-fi tale um, I was trying to think the best way to describe the storyline, and after a while I figured this, this book really sums it up well on its back cover. So if, I apologize, but I'm going to read the back cover because I think it gives you a really good basic summary of what this book is all about. They were all expendable until they started comparing notes. Ensign Andrew Dahl has just been assigned to the Universal Union capital ship Intrepid, flagship of the Union since the year 2456. It's a, it's a prestigious posting, and Andrew is thrilled to be assigned to the ship's exobiology laboratory with the chance to serve on away missions alongside the Starship's famous senior officers. Why could it be better until Andrew begins to realize that, one, every away mission involves some kind of lethal confrontation with alien forces, two, the ship's captain is chief science officer, and the handsome Lieutenant Kerensky always survive these confrontations, and three, sadly, at least one low-ranking crew member is invariably killed. Unsurprisingly, the crew below decks avoid wave missions at all costs. Then Andrew stumbles on information that completely transforms his and his colleagues' understanding of what this Starship Intrepid really is and offers them a crazy high-risk chance to save their own lives. Very interesting concept by the book, and definitely throughout the book, the author kind of... Um, is making fun of typical um, sci-fi um, story points, especially bad sci-fi. And I think that's what the author really is. He's, he's kind of hammering it the way that when sci-fi gets lazy it's sometimes, there are certain just traps that writers fall into for um, shows and movies and books. And he's kind of, you know, the entire time the crew, when they kind of start figuring this out, they go like, you know, this just doesn't make any sense. This is so stupid, you know, so random. It ha has no meaning. And um, it's kind of poking fun at um, those little cheesy um, stereotypes that a lot of sci-fi falls into. About the same time, the author clearly has a true love of sci-fi. If you know his background, he's a very well-established sci-fi author. So it's just a very humorous take on sci-fi instead of the serious take that a lot of times sci-fi does. I won't get into um, the mysterious secret that the crew member discovers that's referenced on the back cover because that really ruins the entire storyline. Um, that's not unveiled until about the halfway point of the book, and it's a very interesting reveal. Um, I, you kind of guess where it's going, but you don't know for sure, so it's very interesting when they do reveal it, and how then the storyline develops from that point on, which I found very interesting. I kind of guess what the surprise is going to be. I did not guess how the plot would resolve the, the issue. Um, really enjoyed it. Like I said, it's one of the funniest books I've read in a long time. I would say definitely, probably the funniest sci-fi book I've read. Um, I don't know if I would count Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. I guess Hitchhiker's would be the one that I'd have to compare. I'm not sure which one I found more funny. It'd be a close call. But So if you enjoy sci-fi, but at the same time you're looking for a good laugh and something maybe a less serious read, I'd strongly recommend Red Shirts. Um, great book. Highly recommend it. And I uh, hope if you read it, you'll enjoy it as much as I did. So um, hope you enjoyed the review. Now I'll see you next time.